What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of the VR Enthusiast. The uh, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners just came out the other day, I've been playing it, and while it is a good game, there are people like me who may be somewhat obsessed with the word AAA and VR who will have something to complain about it. Now, don't get me wrong, love this game, I have some issues with it, so let's get to it. Alright, so here we are in The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. This game looks great all the way through. It's a really, really good looking game. I do have some small issues with it, and I should be able to show all the issues that I have here in this one spot. So, um, some of you will probably disagree with me because uh, it's supposed to be somewhat of a realistic game, but as far as wrapping your arms with a, uh, with some stuff to bring your health up, which is the only way you can bring your health up, by the way, <sighs> just about so I mean like if you get bit over here or a shot hole you just wrap your arm to fix it okay whatever you know that's not too much of a problem but when you go to eat food it doesn't even bring your health back <sighs> so I mean the only way to do it is with these bandages and another thing I don't like is this guy gets completely exhausted he can't run so he can't run a couple yards without getting tired. It's kind of ridiculous. And for another problem here, if you fall oh. more than three feet, uh. you just die. Uh. I just lost all of my health. Uh. It's pretty ridiculous. And finally, on to my last two issues with the game. One is, is when I'm sneaking up on the zombie, this guy likes to cough, and then the <coughs> zombie turn around and attack me, which is kind of annoying. Like, why can't he just hold his breath for a second? <laughs> I mean, like, for real. And, uh, finally, the, um, the weapon system is a little bit wanky, uh, so I'm moving my left hand up and down, leaving my right hand still, and it just kind of is just a little bit weird. Seems like it could use some work. And, um... On the Oculus controller, maybe this was originally designed for the Vive, but it just doesn't seem like it's uh, lining up like it should. I don't know. It's pretty good, but I mean, it definitely could use a little bit of work, and I, uh, I'm sure that Skydance will put the <coughs> effort in to give us a good game, or a better game. <laughs> So satisfying. See, now I'm exhausted, right? I can't get away from the zombie. And that concludes my absolutely final issue with the game, is this guy absolutely has no stamina. At all. It is pretty ridiculous. Well, that's it for this episode of the VR Enthusiast. I'm not hating on this game. It's a really good game. I love this game. I suggest that you buy this game. It's a really good VR game. It just has a few shortcomings. Not as many as some of the older games, but a few. And I wanted to point them out because I got nothing better to do. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.